Bohm's law. A German physicist named George Simon Ohm derived a relation between current and potential difference based on some experimental observations. This relation came to be known as Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that at constant temperature the current I flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference V applied across it. Mathematically, it can be expressed as I is proportional to V. V is equal to IR, where R is the proportionality constant called resistance of the conductor. The resistance R can be defined as the opposition offered by the conductor to the flow of current through it. R is equal to V by I. The SI unit of resistance is volt per ampere, which is called ohm, in the honor of the scientist who discovered it. It is denoted by Greek alphabet omega. The resistance of a conductor is 1 ohm if an electric current of 1 ampere passes through the conductor when a potential difference of 1 volt is applied across its ends. The device used to produce resistance in the electric circuit is called resistor. The circuit symbol of a resistor is let us perform an experiment in order to understand the relationship between the current and potential difference. The circuit consists of resistance box, a milliampere to measure the current flowing through the circuit, a battery, a key, a rheostat to vary the current and potential difference across the circuit, a voltmeter to measure the potential difference across the bulb. The key is closed and for zero volt applied there is no current. Now by sliding the pointer on the rheostat gradually increase the applied voltage. The ammeter indicates the increase in current. Now measure the reading of the ammeter for different values of applied voltage. Plot the graph of applied voltage versus current. We can see that the points form a straight line passing from the origin indicating a linear relationship between current and voltage. The ratio of the applied voltage V and current I is constant for each use. This constant is the resistance offered by the resistance box, which is equal to the slope of the straight line in the graph. Thus, Ohm's law can be stated as the potential difference V across an ideal conductor is directly proportional to the current I through it, provided the temperature and other physical conditions are kept constant. Materials that obey Ohm's law are called ohmic or linear because the potential difference across them varies linearly with the current. Examples Metallic conductors, voltmeters, ammeters. Non-ohmic devices do not obey Ohm's law. Examples are filament lamp, LED, diodes, semiconductors, etc.